Good morning, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Here comes Kisumu. And before that, I would really like to ask all the delegation from Kisumu to be upstanding. Uh, yes, we have Professor Gong there. <laughs> Munira there, Tom, everybody. Uh, thank you very much. There's a reason why I've done that. Because we talk of transdisciplinary cooperation. Here we have Kisumu Local Interaction Platform incorporating the academia headed by Professor Gong, then we have Maseno University, we have Joe Yust University, we have uh, Dr. Loco with us, we have uh, George Mark, we have Lillian, Dr. Ayombe, we have um, uh, other doctors here as well. Then we have the trustees with us here. We have uh, Munera that represents the private sector. We have uh, Betty Okero that represents the civil society. We have Tom Ogola representing the county and the private sect uh, public sector. We have myself representing uh, the public sector as well. Then Ogola represents the city and the county government. Now, all that works within that platform. We have managed to interact seamlessly between academia, private, civil society, private sector, the city that provides the arena, the county government now that has broadened the area of, of operation for the service to our people. So in all that we've done has improved decision making in terms of policy. Before we had CLIP, we had what was called Kisum Action Team, and more or less most of these members were there when I was the mayor then. And that was a citywide collaboration that attracted close working relationship with the UN Habitat, World Bank, and we have projects going on to the tune of 40 million euros that that, that team attracted. Going forward, this same team now are able to influence uh, policy on research matters and the collaboration that we've had through urban ministers, the international collaboration. We have student uh, exchanges. We have uh, a wider horizon of ideas that we couldn't have if we didn't collaborate through this platform. And that has gone into advising the city. And uh, as I'm talking now, there's a big World Bank project that is the at, at the tune of almost 1 million uh, euros every year that will be coming in for the next five years into the city. But because we have informed uh, advice, we are able now to deal with some of these cities, uh, some of these issues, making Kisumu more inclusive, more informed in, into our policies. Because as you know, uh, here we have uh, the technical side working very closely uh, with the universities in the approach of solid waste management. Initially, we started with marketplaces and ecotourism. That went directly to improve our marketplaces and areas of ecotourism because unemployment is a great thing there. So we were trying to deal with it by involving uh, our uh, common people on how then to improve their livelihoods and create employment. Then we have the challenges of solid waste that we're dealing with now in the second program and um, food security. Uh, there's a book written about food sources of Kisumu, food scarcity and the trends. And that, te that helps the policy makers in designing programs or strategies how to deal with all these issues. Transport, for example, has been an issue. We have immigration and people coming in and out of the city. So through this collaboration, we now deal with issues in a more scientific, more researched way. What has this collaboration helped us with? We are here, we've made friends, but also work-wise, we've had um, immense support and advice that we wouldn't have got otherwise if we were isolated and working alone in Kisumu. We worked with Sheffield, Gothenburg, Chalmers, all these universities and we are forever indebted for your support and advice. 
And we've channeled through almost over 22 PhD students through Kisumu Local Interaction Platform. And they do programs that go back to help the community and the cities. We've had exchange programs with students from Chalmers and Gothenburg University that come annually into Kisumu. All this enhanced international cooperation and better understanding between Global North and Global South. So we think this is a wonderful thing, but at the same time, we're saying that uh, this work that we've started has given us the impetus and the platform to proceed further. So we hope that even if this program comes to a conclusion, we will build on it to go further and increase our collaboration directly with other universities and other people working, willing to work with us in Kisumu. We are more than ready and will create a platform that you can enjoy working in. But I would like to thank everyone else, Urban Mistress, Sida, who has supported us diligently, the universities of Chalmers, Sheffield, Manchester, uh, Stockholm, all uh, Gothenburg University, and all our directors who have been very cooperative and helpful. Even when it was so difficult after the elections in Kenya, you still supported us to host uh, a gathering like this that uh, I think in people's view were fairly successful. You've been supportive. We like to work with you. We are ready to work with you. But thank you for giving us this opportunity to be here. And we are willing to work with you going forward. Thank you all very much.